gotta be like this. I'll do whatever you need. Just please, bro, just chill. Come. From now on, I want half of everything. I don't care if you move away to hitting licks. Half is mine. My guy. That's for violating my cousin. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. And now today, we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost. Did your boy Kane make the right move by recruiting Little Guap? Now, if you didn't check out my video yesterday that I dropped about Tommy Egan canceling Christmas the Power Book 2 Ghost Edition. Make sure you checked it out. I dropped that yesterday. Um, you, you know y'all had to drop the Tommy Egan video for Christmas. But now it's time to talk about your boy Kane. His decision making. Um, of course what he did in this last episode. And what's to come for his future in Power Book 2 Ghost. Now we know Little Guap was saved. Because of course Kane decided to give him one more chance. But was this recruitment the right move? Now I'm going to answer that question. I think it's yes and I think it's no. And I'm going to talk about it. Now as far as what happened in the last episode, we know that of course what Little Guap did was just flat out disrespectful. I mean for him to almost take away the career of Zeke, that was messed up. I mean he could have easily did it if he wanted to. Now we know that Drew saved the day. But of course... Kane went there to handle GTG and that's exactly what he did. He handled everybody else. But when it was time to take down Lil Guap, he decided to recruit him instead and tell him he wants half of everything. Um, now, this is going to be a very interesting storyline because as of right now, and this is what I'm talking about when I say yes, because as of right now, this little recruitment, this little click up with Lil Guap is good right now. Um, it's pretty much like a, a laugh now, cry later situation in my opinion. Because to be honest with you guys, I just don't believe that little guac can be trusted. I just don't. Now, Kane believes that this is the best thing for him to do. Now, we also have to remember that Kane made this decision before he even went back and talked to Monet and Diana. So he already made up his mind um, that he was going to, you know, recruit Little Guap regardless of what he did to Zeke. I mean, he was about to take out your cousin, Ni. Nee. And for him to say, you know what, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't good enough. Um, I'm cool with that. I mean, he wasn't necessarily cool with it. But for him to say, I'm going to still work with Little Guap, I think that's going to come back and bite him in the butt in the long run. Um, that's just what I think is going to happen because you got a guy like Little Guap and you saw what he did and you saw what he can do. What really makes you think that he won't come back and try to get you, right? What makes you think that? Now, of course, in this next episode, Kane is going to continue with GTG and he's going to continue to hit these streets, hit the block because he knows that, of course, Tariq, Monet, you know, they doing work at Stansfield or whatever, but things can change quickly. Don't be surprised if you see Tariq and them start hitting the block or maybe hit other college campuses. But it seems like Kane's going to be back on his same mess that he's been on, chopping up bodies at chop shops and stuff like that. But Kane, he really has to watch his decision making. He makes a lot of decisions off emotions. Um, yes, he's about the family code, but at the same time, he's starting to make crucial mistakes in my opinion and when i say yes and no when it comes to recruiting little guap because at, at the beginning it could be good i mean little guap could help you out all you want um do what you asked him to do but when you actually sit down and think about it think about little guap's actions and uh what he's done in the past do you honestly believe that you can trust this man not to turn on you see that was Something that I would think that would bother me because if I just did what I did to Little Guap, I, in the back of my head, would be thinking this dude going to try to get me down the line. And I'd rather get rid of the problem right now than to wait for him to wait for the perfect opportunity to get me back. 
See, that's what Kane's going to have to worry about. He's going to have to worry about Little Guap and GTG possibly coming back, trying to get payback on him. Um, now, Kane, in his head, he believes he can control Little Guap. He said it time and time again. He told Monet that he thinks he can control them. They do, they do what he tells them to do. But what's going to happen when he decides to say, you know what, I'm going to do what I want to do. He can be sitting back in the cut and waiting for the perfect opportunity and then he can strike like i tell you guys it's these small characters they always build up and come back and bite you in the butt we've seen that with dre um in their original power you sit around you let a guy that was probably one of the weakest guys sit around for so long and then they come back and bite you in the butt you already let them do entirely too much they pretty much destroyed half of your organization we don't seen what dre was able to do in power i mean he single-handedly messed up tommy egan's organization um stole the connects i mean this guy was doing entirely too much bringing tariq around the wrong people lying to ghosts after ghost told him he will make sure he has a position of power but we know that dre wasn't patient you know what i'm saying that wasn't the case with dre now a little guap you cannot leave a guy like this um, unwatched. Trust me. This is a guy, in my opinion, that will try to come back and get you. He's proved it. He's proved it time and time again. I mean, hell, he shows you what he'd do to your face, to your moms, and you really believe that he's going to be loyal to you, especially after what he did to your cousin Zeke. I mean, this dude does not care. If you cross him one bit, you see what he's going to do, right? Instead of coming to you and asking you what happened or whatever, this guy acts stupid, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And like I told you guys, with Kane, his decision-making has to get better. He's based off emotion so much, and he makes, you know, bad decisions, man. He has to get better at that. Um, he cannot continue just to be a guy that makes these hits. He's trying to recruit. I understand that. He's trying to do things different and learn. But, man, he has a long way to go, in my opinion. And I keep seeing people compare Kane to Kanan. That's all you see. Kane and Kanan, they're, they're, they're the same. People are saying this time and time again. Now, I don't know how Kane was, I mean, how Kanan was when he was Kane's age. But the Kanan Starks that we saw in power, to me, the only comparison that I can say that him and Kane got is they are ruthless um, killers and they act crazy as hell at times. But other than that, they're completely different um, as far as what we saw in power with Kanan. We got to understand that Kanan was older. So, of course, he's going to make different decisions from the teenage Kanan. We're going to see that in Power, Bo um, power Book 3, Raising Kanan, right? But as far as making that comparison between Kanan and Kanan, we got to understand that Kanan, not only could he, could he be ruthless, and crazy, he was a mastermind. He's the guy that taught Ghost a lot of different things and Tommy a lot of different things. He came up under Breeze. He taught Tariq how to play chess. You got to understand this show, a lot of the different things that you were seeing in this show is based off what Kanan did to these people. Uh, I mean, it's, it's quite obvious. Yes, Kanan can be a high head at times, but if you really watch Power, if you pay close attention you can easily see how Kanan was moving he was moving very smart very smart he was using Tommy against Ghost Ghost against Tommy he was all in Tariq's head got Tariq all messed up he was controlling Dre I mean the list goes on and on on what Kanan was really doing in power this dude was very um powerful for real and you know yes he had the go but as far as his skills in his decision making the dude really was smart very smart and it's a reason why ghost is the way ghost is and tommy is the way tommy is at the end of the day yes tommy does make you know crucial dumb decisions sometimes but at the end of the day the guy is smart when it comes to certain things and we already know what ghost can do and how smart he is but you got to remember and you have to always respect the teacher and that, of course, is your boy, Kanan. And I can't wait to see Power Book 3 Raising Kanan to see how it all began. And as far as his teacher, and I will say his teacher had to be, of course, Breeze. At least some of his teachings had to come from Breeze. So 
I can't wait to see how that all unfolds. You guys let me know, man. Did your boy Kane make the right decision? And as I told you guys, my answer is yes and no. Short term, yes, because it's going to be good for him for business. Um, he can continue to build his empire and you know get this money. But long term, no, because we know at the end of the day, based on history, hell, based on power history, what happens when you let somebody live entirely too long instead of getting rid of the problem right then and there? Bad things happen, right? We know this. But um, thank you guys once again for all the support, all the love. I will catch y'all later for the final predictions for episode nine. And like I said, happy holidays. Make sure you checked out that power book two ghosts. Um, the Tommy Egan Christmas is canceled video that I dropped for you guys yesterday. And um, stay tuned, man, because more content is coming. And I, I cannot wait. But um, let me go now to here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.